And good afternoon, Retro Commanders. <laughs> Welcome back to Saturday. And um, yes, Retro Stream. Now we have finished. We have finished. Um, we have finished our playthrough of Frontier First Encounters. And very exciting the ending was too. <laughs> As you recall, it was it was dramatic. It was spectacular. It was it was short. <laughs> now, um, you may have seen the title of the stream. I was struggling a bit because the problem with retro games is not all the retro games are in Twitch's catalogue. So how do you how do you? <laughs> there's no way to add a new game in. So I did choose Star Trek Legacy, which I don't think is the right thing. Okay, um, but there's no option to change it. Okay. <laughs> So what can you do? Um, so anyway, I've tagged it with retro. So hopefully anybody who likes retro streams will be playing. Now, based on popular, based on popular um, uh, request, what well, kind of a popular request? Um, today's stream will be Star Trek. Okay. Now I do have, uh, I do now have a working emulation of Space War, which as far as I can tell is the first proper space game on the PDP eight, I think it is a PDP 11. Um, so um, I don't know what Star Trek Legacy actually is, but that's not what we're not, we're not playing Star Trek Legacy, although it is Star Trek and it's Legacy, um, as in it's very, 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 very old. <laughs> but Space War, and I will show it to you briefly, okay? Now, the reason I'm not gonna play it today, because I'm doing this slightly out of chronicle, chronicle, log yeah, chron uh, yeah. I'll start that again, chronological order, is because Space, uh, space War, which does actually, it's surprisingly impressive. Here it is, look. Um, let me just sort of put it there. This is this is Space War, okay? Um, but I, I, it's two players. <laughs> it's two players. Um, so, um, and my, uh, my partner in crime, my youngest son who also likes playing computer games, is not here today. Um, he's up at Thorpe Park, uh, mucky about. So I need, I need an, an, an extra commander. <laughs> And it's multiplayer, as you can see, player one and player two. Uh, but it's kind of, it's, it's local multiplayer. I, we have to be sitting next to each other on the same keyboard. So um, <laughs> we will try that next week, okay, when he's back. I, I will book some time in with my youngest son. And um, we can, and we will see who is the master of space war. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Um, so, um, so anyway, so um, this is, um, Space War um, is, is yeah, as you can see, this is quite a, a faithful emulation. I'm not going to go into too much now because this is an emulation, but um, it, it's, uh, I was, you know, it's like 24 September 1962, okay? 1962. <laughs> this is eight years before I was born. Yeah, this is proper legacy. This is stuff my dad would have played. <laughs> In fact, the very next game is stuff my dad would play, uh, but I also did play it, so um, we will we will get to get. Now, so I didn't realise actually until I looked Space War up, and it's worth having a read about this because this is um, this is way 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 earlier than Space Invaders, okay? Way 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 earlier than Space Invaders, and um, it is um, you know it's 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 actually got uh, it's got physics and maths in it. It's not just left, right, and fire. It's it's surprisingly sophisticated. But you know, I'm I'm whetting your appetite for something that I'm not going to do today. <laughs> so come back next week for Space War because it's it's actually very very impressive. Uh, very very impressive for the time. 1962. I, I had no idea there was anything like this out there. So Space War definitely recommend you checking it out. So we'll we'll play that at some le next week. But it, it is two players. It's, there's no point me playing it on my own because we won't get the effect. Uh, so um, <laughs> so we will do. Uh, we also do some. Um, and um, we'll have a play with that. So that, that that is coming. But Space War, yes, definitely worth checking out. Now today, however, Star Trek. Okay. Star Trek, the text game. <laughs> so this is this is about 1976, I think, or early maybe 1972. It's somewhere around there. So this computer game we're going to try and <laughs> attempt to play today on the retro stream is about the same age as me. <laughs> now that's pretty old, okay? That is pretty old. Um, so, um, uh, and you can only play if you had access to a PDP, not something, able, no, because a PDP, how, I, I've got no idea how um, um, expensive a PDP computer was back in the 60s, but I'm betting it's pretty darn expensive. <laughs> so if anybody knows, 
Um, um, as <laughs> JL1998 and Mad Monks have, ooh, a multiplayer game on the same keyboard. Yes, up until the 90s, all multiplayer games were on the same keyboard. That's how they worked. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> says millions of thousands of pounds. I think you're probably right. So it's not a PDP um, computer is not something you would have had in your or in your um, in your in your backyard. <laughs> in your house for universities and like so you know they were they were big expensive things so this is the 60s were way before the kind of home computer revolution now it's interesting um you know and uh, you know you know as 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 i want to do a bit of waffle before the stream actually properly starts and we get into the actual game um now you know um <laughs> i was born in august 1970 Okay, so that's that's how old I am. I am literally coming up to my fifty-first birthday this year. Um, so, when when I was a small kid, you know, when I was like four, five, six, okay, all those sort of things, there were no home computers, okay, uh, unless you know people, unless people were fantastically rich, they just they just weren't there. Um, we had, you know, I remember in my house there there was a record player, you know, for vinyl discs. There was probably a few radios uh, we had a black and white television a single black and white television you know cathode ray tube type thing um and you know lights <laughs> i think we had a i think we had a hoover um but that was about it that was all the electronic stuff that we had we had a telephone okay uh, and i can still remember my phone number um from from back in the 70s my phone number was and i and this is not this is not kidding my phone number was 551 Okay, I come from a time when there were three figure phone numbers <laughs> because I lived in a village, okay, and there were less than a thousand people in the village, so we all had three figure phone numbers. <laughs> and my first girlfriend's phone number, like I can still remember this, was 728. <laughs> That's what it was like. Um, and when you picked up the phone in the uh, in the seventies, I, I didn't have a girlfriend in the seventies. I, I hate to have, but um, in the seventies, you picked up the phone, okay, and you went, "Can I have Aldington seven two eight, please?" <laughs> that was that was it. That's how you did it. There was no dialing. You just, there was somebody somewhere was doing things. Um, so there we go. So um, Star Trek. I'm I'm not sure what Star Trek Legacy is, but this I don't think this is it. Okay, but I can't find Star Trek the text game from 1970s in Twitch's catalog, so this <laughs> this is the closest thing I could find. So um, if anybody can advise me on what I should change the Twitch thing to, I I will. But um, there we go. Um, so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, so the first computer I actually came across that it was kind of recognizably a computer was in about 1977. And my dad, um, who was an electronics um, engineer by trade, made one, okay? He bought a box of bits from somewhere. Um, yes, <laughs> seven to eight. <laughs> um, I, I do remember her name, <laughs> it was Mel. It was seven to eight. I can remember that. Um, but um, I bet she didn't supply you with space tea. No, she didn't. No, there was no space tea. Um, so, um, so 1978, uh, 1977 is the first time I remember a computer. My dad built one, and it was uh, based on a US computer called a Superboard. And I, um, and it, in the UK, it was called the UK 101, and it predated things like the Z80, uh, the ZX80, and the BBC, and the ZX81, and you know, Commodore 64 and other things, way before those, it was the first, but it plugged into a television and it could load programs from a cassette and it had Microsoft Basic on it. So that was the first time I encountered a computer. Um, but back in 1977, 1978, um, everything came in kits, you built it yourself. So unless you knew how to do electronics and soldering and stuff at home, um, it was kind of out of your league. So there was a small gap, a few years before home computers were actually, you know, made. <laughs> You could buy them as a thing and just use them. Um, and that's the first time I came across a computer. So I remember um, going into school at the age of about eight, saying that my dad had built a computer. We had a computer at home and everyone just <laughs> beating me up in the playground for being a liar. <laughs> Um, but you know, I, so I had we had this UK 101, which you can if you look up UK 101, you will find a little bit of information about. It. There's not much because not many people have heard of it, um, 
Uh, that's the first home computer I encountered. And then the, the the first, if you like, mainstream computer I actually ever used was the ZX Spectrum, which, of course, is legendary and goes on from there. So, um, But it's interesting, you know, from, from 77, nobody had a computer at home, OK? About 1970, there is there is a knocking sound at the door. Yeah. I'm going to come in from the other side one, though, just to confuse. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Appreciate the space tea. That's OK. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Space D has arrived. <laughs> oh, and I've got I've got a, a wacky thing on my. What's going on there? <laughs> nope, that way. There we go. <laughs> Space T, um, very, very important part of the stream. Um, Space T never fails, it always arrives in about the first 10 minutes of the stream. Really good. So yeah, so from 77, nobody had a computer. And about four or five years later, as far as I could tell, everybody had a computer. And there was a massive, you know, massive rush with the 8-bit home computers, but there we go. Um, Lots of people had ZX eighty ones. A few people had ZX eighties. Um, but by about nineteen eighty two, everybody who wanted a computer had a computer. It was the must have thing of the early eighties. So there we go. Now this game dates from the mid seventies. Now I remember playing this um, uh, during the eighties. Um, it was yeah, fairly early early game. Um, it was designed long before graphics were a thing. <laughs> This is text only, um, um, but I do remember quite liking it back then. So um, we'll see, <laughs> see how it goes and see how well the nostalgia works. So we're playing a seventies game. Okay, uh, it is text based. It is Star Trek. All right, <laughs> we've got to go and fight the Klingons. So let's let's see what's the FPS like. <laughs> <No>, <laughs> I have no idea. Um, right, so it's asking me, am I a beginner? I think that's a fairly safe question. So I'm going to start with B. Um, oh, I'm going to click into the, there we go, B. I'm just going to move the window a little bit closer to where I'm looking at. Uh, B, right, there we go. Is, <laughs> is this a colour monitor? Ooh, well, <laughs> um, Kelvin, when we were a kid, there were feuds on the schoolyard with the specky or the CPC. <laughs> There were fights. It wasn't just feuds in my school. I mean, maybe maybe my school was worse. It went, come on, look at In my school, there were actual proper fights. <laughs> and I'm pleased to say, at least in where I live, the Spectrum guys won, okay? <laughs> we literally kicked the asses of everybody else. <laughs> because they, we basically, mostly because we outnumbered them. <laughs> Because the spectrum was cheap, all the all the medium, yeah, mid range to poor kids had spectrums, right? So there were more of us. Um, the slightly richer parents had Commodore sixty fours, and only the really posh, expensive dudes who had BBCs, and so they were easy picking because there's only about three of them. Uh, so <laughs> in my school, the spectrum won simply by sheer force of numbers. <laughs> um, is this a colour monitor? Yes, it is. We have colour. There we go. Um, is this classic Trek or next generation Trek? I think we're going to go with classic because this is the one I vaguely know. Okay, so here we go. Right. <laughs> so this is this is top quality gaming. All right. DJ Ambrose says C64 was clearly the best. <laughs> out, out, out in the playground. And it's it's funny actually because those you know you talk about console wars now between PS4 and Xbox One and or is it PS5 and Xbox One I get confused now. <laughs> anyway, whatever it is, um, yeah, which one's the better? And then the you know, the console peasants versus the the PC master race and all that sort of stuff. Gets coat, <laughs> gets hat, bread. <laughs> Um, and it's the same, <laughs> exactly the same <laughs> Spectrum versus C64 versus BBC back in the day. And then you had the weird kids, didn't you, with the TRS-80s and the um, Ataris and um, the TI-99-4As, and they, they were just odd, okay? Why, why would you buy a computer that nobody else had? <laughs> so they were just weird people, so, you know, they had no friends at school. I feel no, no emotion I feel in this game. Right, so Starfleet orders, Stardate 5, I don't know what, they, we're in command of the USS Enterprise. Excellent, that's good. Uh, unfortunately, negotiations with the Klingons have broken down and a state of war exists. Your mission is most distasteful. You are to search out and destroy Klingons that you encounter. Strike any key to begin your mission. Right, okay then. Uh, right, <laughs> so this is the UI. 
Um, uh, <laughs> I was a Nintendo. See, Nintendo is a name I hadn't even heard of until the 80s. Yeah, that's that, that's quite good. Now, um, right, so ship status. Here we are. So we have we have a galaxy map, okay, um, of uh, what looks like nine by nine sectors. Um, we are currently in sector eight five. <laughs> uh, we have 20,000 energy, uh, have warp drive, we can go to warp 7, the speed is set at warp 7, uh, shields are up at 100%, computer, <laughs> computer is functional, cloak is active, we've got 20 torpedoes, uh, ph phasors are operational, and there are 11 Klingons in the galaxy, now I must admit, I, <laughs> I have no idea, I know I have played this game before, but it was like 30 years ago, so I'm going to struggle to remember, the way I think it works, we're in... Um, so I'm just trying. Can you can you see a mouse? You can see a mouse. Okay, so this is where we are. We're here, all right, um, in this part of the galaxy, and then over here. So as you can see, sector eight point five. So that's that's the galaxy itself, and this is the sector within the galaxy um, that we're in. So this presumably is us here. Um, I don't know what what P is, uh, but yeah, the Enterprise didn't have a cloak, so it's it's given us. Uh, what does F1 do? Does it tell us anything useful? No. Oh, there we go. Um, right, abandon. Uh, so, raise or lower cloaking device. Okay, so D, uh, dock at the starbase. F. <laughs> F flips a fake Lotus 123 looking screen up. <laughs> Excellent. Got to try that. Um, and tab brings the game back yeah. um, so temporarily hide from your co-workers and boss that you are diddling around with this game rather than working <laughs> check this okay so for those of you who don't know what lotus 123 is which i suppose does need explanation um lotus 123 um was <laughs> way way back in the ancient midst of time sort of an excel equivalent all right, so Lotus 123 uh, was like a spreadsheet program, but text-based, text-based spreadsheet program, okay? So <laughs> what it does here is <laughs> whilst you're playing this game, <laughs> you can pretend that you're not playing the game by pressing a key <laughs> in case your boss turns up. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's just like a like a stealth mode, okay? So obviously they were concerned, or the, the, the people who played this game were concerned, um, that <laughs> people would play it at work. <laughs> and then you can go back to the game when the boss is, yeah. uh, have you got that spreadsheet for me? Yeah, I'm, st I'm still working on it, sir. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be done soon. It's very, very complicated, as you can see. I've got to do. I've got to. I've got to work out these numbers. I'll, I'll be. How you? Yeah. You, I've seen you typing on that computer all day. How are you doing? It's it's going well, but I, yeah, it took me a few more hours. Choo 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 choo. <laughs> uh, so so that's 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 Lotus one two three. <laughs> Old spreadsheets. I mean, I'm not sure that's going to be a particularly interesting <laughs> Twitch stream. <laughs> old spreadsheets we have known um so there we go <laughs> which which gives you a sort of flavor of the mentality of how computer games were, were played in the 1970s doesn't it um <laughs> games with a panic button for work so there we go and uh, so yes yeah, so lotus 123 kind of a killer app so um you yeah, know one of the first things that really sold the idea of computers into business actually uh, lotus 123 the fact that you could add up things and do you know um very very fast double double entry bookkeeping on computers and then print it out and, and show it to the you know, yeah it's all that sort of stuff it was um yeah it, it was it was revolutionary back in the 70s of course um that man's playing Gallagher <laughs> yeah well now those those things are still to come okay that's in the future now what I've got to do um so maybe um uh, it looks like I think you might be right P is a planet all right E is the enterprise that's us um there is nothing else in this sector now we're in this sector here, and I think I'm right in saying that the zero 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 means um, number of um, stars, I think number of Klingons, and number of something else's, and the B are the star bases. Okay, where we can go to recharge and rearm. I think I think I think that's right. So uh, let's let's um, see if we can get the the list up again. Uh, I need the help. Come on, give me the help. Why isn't the help working? 
Oh, there we go. Right, so D to duck, dock, undock at the star base. Yep, help is, yep. Uh, long range scan. Okay, so a long range scan can detect regular Klingons and stars in adjacent quadrants. Okay, so that means a sensible thing to do. Okay, so here's an explanation of what the map means. All right, so 803 means eight regular Klingons, no star bases and three stars. 2B6 would mean two regular Klingons, a star base and six stars. Okay, so let's do a long range scan first. Then there's the move stuff, fire phases um, and a short range scan. Okay, fire photon to we'll get we'll get to, we'll get to those, okay. <laughs> Let's do that. Why is it getting around again? That's enough of that. I don't want to see. Go back to the game. Oh did I is it just because I pressed? I think as I pressed. <laughs> I can't get out of the help now. How do I get out of the help? Press any key to return to game. It's not, ret <laughs> not returning to the game. <laughs> Hit any key to return to game. And it's not. <laughs> I'm going to kill it and start again. <laughs> Pretty convoluted interfaces. I don't know what was going wrong there. Um, so, yeah, so. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> the entertainment value is, is wonderful. Uh, it shows how far we've come. That's that's what it's showing. Let's try that again. I think I did something wrong there. Um, right, so I'm a beginner. Yes, definitely a beginner. Uh, we have a color monitor. Yes, classic trick, um, etc. Right, okay, so this time we've got a star. Okay, so that makes sort of sense. I didn't press the any key. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Right, so there's one star. Okay, now if we do L then, uh, that'll be a long range scan, won't it? Okay, so there we go. So the long range scan shows us that there's nothing in our immediate vicinity other than more stars. Kind of makes sense, didn't it? Okay, so we're going to have to we're going to have to move. Right. So th there, there's the there's the um, thing. So uh, CL doc long range scan move phases quit <laughs> repair status short range scan. What does the short range scan then do? Does it? Spock report star. Okay. <laughs> Spock reports <laughs> star at five comma four, sir. USS Enterprise located at seven comma six. He's he's right. <laughs> okay, that's what the short range scan does. Uh, shields, uh, shields are up. So let's. I think. Uh, all right, shields are now down, and let's turn the cloak into voice off because I've got a feeling those things do waste energy um yeah uh, <laughs> sh should be c from last night when i think on thursday when i kept forgetting to put my shields up and leak dangerous right so how does the move work uh move because we right, move ship manually displaces ship by x and y sectors within the quadrant and <laughs> i have to do some maps here to move the ship <laughs> move ship to oh, MA moves ship to sector XY within the quadrant okay so that's MA is probably going to be easier and then move ships to quadrant XY QX MA what? <laughs> uh, Ridley well I played a Star Trek game like that on my old this is exactly at 8088 that's about the era we're talking about so hang on a minute okay I understand how to move the ship in the quadrant what does Q X is Q a variable? Or is Q just a? Or is it Q for? Oh, it must be Q for quadrant. Okay, I think that's right. So I want to get. Will I get back to the game? Yes, right. So if I want, therefore, if I want to move to quadrant six four, I'm going to do move automatic quadrant six quadrant four. Is that right? <laughs> Did that did that work? Something happened. <laughs> I'm not sure that worked. Oh no, hang on, we've gone to the edge. Hang on, let's just let's just move move automatic three comma three. Okay, so that that's inside the sector. That sort of makes sense. Move automatic six comma four. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sulu claims. <laughs> Emergency stop activated, Captain. Uh, we're about to climb on the star at five. Okay, so at least Sulu's on the case, even if I'm not, all right? <laughs> okay, so hang on. So it's actually Y axis first. MA, so if I want to go, is that gonna be seven comma two? Let's go to seven comma two. No, okay, it's X axis first. Then y axis. I need to. I need to bear that in mind. Okay, so I now have to move around the quadrant. Now that's good. <laughs> now, actually, what I want to do is I want to move to quadrant six, comma quadrant four, where there are five stars. That's not working. So why is why is that working? Let's see if I can go do that again. Um. Oh, I can't do that. Right. Okay, so hang on. So move. Why isn't the help working now? Um, do I need to type Q twice? I'm not sure. Um, move automatic. Q. There was something about Y as well. Maybe maybe it needs. So let's go Q six comma. Or is it comma? Is it comma? And move actual um, one. One. No, I don't need the comma. Okay, so Q, uh, move. No, move. It's your Q six, Q four. And then there was another variable, wasn't it? Was it warp factor one? Maybe let's try warp factor one. Did that work? So that, no, that's not. We're not moving. <laughs> um, do you need to type Q twice? I didn't. Think Think so. I can't. Right. Let's just try that again. So, oh, hang on. Q. No, I need X and Y as well. Automatically moves the ship to quadrant Q X Q Y within the galaxy, and to sector X Y within. Okay. So we have to. Oh no! So hang on. Eh, no. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I need to provide. I need to provide sector coordinates and um, yeah, the cues are not necessary. No, you're quite right. So um, I've got to provide two sets of coordinates, I think. So let's let's try that. Um, set the warp speed. Okay. There's another one. Set the warp speed. Warp one. Let's let's save energy. Okay. So warp factor one. Right, so move automatically to six, four, and let's go for, I don't know, three, three. Yay, that worked. <laughs> okay, there we go, right. Okay, so we're now in a sector with uh, five stars, which is correct. Okay, so let's do a long range scan. And there's still nothing, still nothing about. Okay, so in that case, move automatically to I'm going to go to six, seven, three, three. That will take us down there. There are six stars on a planet. And I'm going to long range scan. And oh, we found some Klingons. There we go. We found some Klingons. So there's sort of a fog of war thing going on. It's totally exciting, isn't it? <laughs> what happens if you move yourself into the quadrant where the star is? Well, I think. Um, well, that, we saw that a moment ago. Sulu shuts the engines down, I think. Let's just try it. Move actual to four, three. Sulu goes emergency stop activated. So Sulu's on the case. <laughs> it's like an advanced battle. It is, it's kind of battleshipy, right? So we now know there are three Klingons and three stars. So I suppose I ought to figure out how to fire the guns before we move into the Klingon. Um, because <laughs> um, there are Klingon, there are eight Klingons left, right? Let's find out. How do I get the? Doesn't always uh, F1 doesn't always seem to work. Right, so raise or lower cloaking device. Yeah. Um, right, so long range scan we did. Right, move ship we've done. Fire phases automatically. So PA is the number of energy units to use. The computer evaluates each threat in the quadrant and targets the energy for maximum kills against the largest threats. If N is emitted, N equals um, a thousand or half the ship's energy, whichever is less. Less. Um, 
Okay, so P M manually. So phases are automatic. Okay, um, or manually. Right. So P A N. Uh, so we'll do. We'll try that. So phases kind of lock on target themselves. Um, short range scan. We might need. Okay, so the short range scan includes information about plants and their resources and the enemies. Okay, so we might need that. Shield energy. Um, fire photon torpedoes. So N is the number of torpedoes, one, two, or three. X fire the target coordinates for each torpedo. Um, at least one target, if more torpedoes. Right, okay, I think I understand that. Right, okay. <laughs> Let's see if we right, I'm going to put the shields up. What's the shields key? It's SH, isn't it? <laughs> um, good day, Drew says angry, uh, old angry shot. Loved your little ditty. I'm glad you enjoyed my, um, um, this is the triumph. <laughs> no, no, on the sea was the triumph. <laughs> I need to make a keyboard over there, right. Shields are up 100%, right. So we're going to move automatically to six, eight. And we're going to go in, let's, go in at 2-2 two, two. and right are we ready for some enterprise on Klingon action right boom oh they've shot at us okay uh, so we've got three Klingons okay we got hit um, shields are up but now down to 96.4 percent two hits from phasors <laughs> I'm sure they're phasers <laughs> phasors um, we have some let's, let's so we break out the photon torpedoes um, Let's do that. Um, T, Ma uh, T. Uh, let's fire at what is it? Five comma four. There we go. Did that work? Apparently, <laughs> apparently not. Um, T. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing again. Let's just try that again. <laughs> just while the Klingons are attacking, <laughs> just going to read the instruction manual. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing about turn-based games, all right. <laughs> Maybe it's capital T. I don't think it was. Um, oh, number of torpedoes. I missed out the N. Okay, so it needs to be um, T N X X. Okay. All right. So let's 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 get some torpedoes out. All right. So torpedo one uh, five four. Yes. I'll click on this down. Did you like the explosion there? That was that was quite remarkable, wasn't it? <laughs> condition condition red. Quite a good use of flashing graphics. Now bear in mind there are no there are no graphics in this at all. Okay, this is all text based. Um, the only thing you've got here is color and flashing. Um, better than FFE. Yes, it was. Um, so T. Um, let's get the other one. One. One torpedo seems to be enough for each Klingon. Which is there we go. I've got another one. <laughs> T um, six seven uh, T to one six seven. There we are. Boom! I, I have I have I have wiped I have wiped out the Klingon Klingon scourge. Um, and our shields are shields are holding eighty nine percent. Okay, good. Crystal. I just noticed that crystals are stable. Don't know what that means. And we haven't got enough torpedoes to. Take out. So let's go and find, <laughs> find some more Klingons. Um, uh, eight, eight, seven, one, one. Let's go there and let's do a long range scan. Does that? Oh, there's a star and a base. Okay, so the Kling I don't know where the Klingons are hiding. They're all over the shop, aren't they? Um, uh, Dilithium crystals <laughs> tend to, to break apart, yeah. <laughs> Something will go wrong. Oh, the computer. I've got a computer as well. So presumably that can get damaged as well. Um, crystals are for the warp drive. So, you know, there's there's the, there's the concept here of interlinked systems. OK, so if one thing starts to bust, then presumably other things will break down. And presumably phases and transporter there, they're all they're all shown as operational. OK, um, so OB1. Yeah, OB1. <laughs> so I could resupply at base. So, yes, yeah, so let's try that. So that's going to be move automatically to eight. Eight, and let's go to one one just because. So that there's the base. Uh, presumably we move to eight one. Yeah, and then we dock. 
and every, yeah okay so there we go so as i docked um it reloaded everything there <laughs> there are so that's quite good okay so we can use it we've only got two bases but we can use them presumably the klingons um i want the klingons move and then and and then attack things i don't know so let's let's see if we can find some more klingons let's go down to eight nine one one Oh, ah, you can't fly through a star even with warp speed. Okay, so that's interesting. Move an actual to five one. Move actual to eight nine one one. Oops, I've just <laughs> I've just had an error from the game saying <laughs> line one hundred and eighty one thousand eight hundred and four uh, subscript out of range. Don't know what that means. <laughs> yes, I think we'll continue. Um, um, oh wait! Uh, oh, uh, I don't know. I've, I've just this has gone badly wrong. I've just warped into a sector of Klingons, and <laughs> didn't put my shields up again. <laughs> um, shields. Right, shields are up. Computer's damaged. Cloak is down. Um, right. Okay. So um, let's get some torpedoes running. Uh, six one. Uh, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Torpedo one, six comma one. Uh, <laughs> only fifteen Klingons left. Why didn't the torpedo work? Are the torpedoes damaged? No, photon torpedo is twenty. That torpedo one, six one. It's not firing my torpedoes for some reason. Why? <laughs> Why not? T one six one. It's not. <laughs> the Klingons. Maybe. Oh, maybe I have to fix the computer. Right. In that case, let's let's get out of here. Move. Let's let's. <laughs> Oops. Crystals condition condition red. Computer damage. Okay. So maybe I can't. That makes sense. Maybe I can't fire. Um, because um, I busted the computer. Because I unwisely warped into a new sector with my shields down. Uh, let's so let's move to eight eight six one no, no five one. It's it's ignoring everything. Can I move at all? I can't seem to move. Let's just do oh, RS repair status. No. So Klingons have. I have to, do you have to fix? <laughs> you don't know. How do I fix stuff? I don't seem to be able to move at all. Um, I'm just seem to be a sitting duck every time I try and type something. Is it a script error? Maybe. Maybe it was. Maybe the game busted. <laughs> <laughs> Cloak's working. I can switch the cloaks up and down. I'm not going to turn the shields off. That would be bad. Uh, let's try the phasers. P M. You need to fire at Klingon at six one. Let's just zap him. <laughs> phasers overheated. Oh, now I've got an unhandled error again. I've got the feeling this game is. Oh, I've got the ball. Right, <laughs> I've busted the phasers too. Um, right, move. Three comma two. No, move automatically. I wonder if the automatic bit doesn't work. We can't. Ah, there we go. I'm getting the error message now. Check off reports. We cannot navigate automatically with a damaged computer. Right. Okay. There we go. Uh, repair status. So that's not showing us the computer. It's not showing us anything there. That's a bit weird. But with a with damaged phasers and a damaged computer, we can't. I'm going to have to do this manually. <laughs> I have to read the manual again. Figure out how to move the ship without the. So the automatic assistance has failed. And presumably we can't fire photon torpedoes when we're down. <laughs> this feels very stressful now. It's supposed to be fun. Um, right. Okay. Right, give me the help screen again. Come on. 
Press F1 for help. I'm sorry, sir. The F1 help system is damaged. <laughs> I'm not getting any help. <laughs> I need the help. Come on. Where's the help? It's not. When I press F1, nothing's happening. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. All right. So shields down. Let's let's put the shields down. Let's save some energy. All right. Shields are down. 67%. Practical demonstration of text games could be immersive too. <laughs> what is true playing? <laughs> oh, there we go. Right. Okay. Right. So how do we move manually? We need to limp back to the star base. Displaces ship. Move manually. Displaces by X and Y sectors within the quadrant. Okay. Displaces ship by X and Y quadrants within the galaxy relative to its current position. So we can go minus nine. Okay. I th I think I understand how that works. So let's, assuming the warp drive is, I know it's gone around in the silly loop again. I think that's because, there we go. I pressed F1 a few times. All right, now to get out of that. All right, so in order to get back to the star base, we should move manually minus, I don't want to go, I want to go zero across, and I want to go minus one up, I think. And then zero zero. Let's not move relatively. Yes, <laughs> navigated it. Okay, so we can move manually. Right. <laughs> so we need to get back to the star base. So that's going to be move manually um, across none, down four. Yes. Right. Then we should be to dock. Yay. Okay. Our phases are still damaged. Okay, so how do we how do we get stuff repaired? <laughs> That's resupplied the ship. Repair status is still saying everything's okay. Um, but we okay, so condition is docked. So how how do I repair the ship? Repair status. Oh, just wait. Maybe I just need to wait. W A for wait. R for repair. Now there's no R for repair. Re repair status, but there is a wait. Um, <laughs> so the, there's no R. Wait. How long to? <laughs> I don't know what in seconds, hours, or what. <laughs> One. <laughs> I have no idea. I need more power. Exactly. 24 hours. Okay, let's let's do that. Wait. 24. Command. Everything's still damaged. <laughs> no idea. Let's have a look at the help again. If it eventually eventually turns up. Wait. Oh, new warp setting. No, no, leave that at one. It was wait, wasn't it? 24. It's, it's, unfortunately, the, the help isn't. The F1 key seems very reluctant to respond. <laughs> I don't know why. Is this Super Star Trek for mainframe? I haven't played that since. It's, it's like Super Star Trek Buffo 1966, yes. Um, it doesn't seem to be quite. Oh, here we go. Okay. So. Rescue by a star base, no. Don't need that, that's movement. Fire phases manually, quit the game. Right, this, uh, RS is supposed to provide a list of all damageable equipment on board and the, the flight repair times. Um, use the W command to effect repairs. Right, W command, right, okay. But this command sets the speed to warp. Huh, what? <laughs> To wait while repairs are underway. Okay, so it is the right. That's the right command. Now I've just got to do this little thing again while it gets back to the game. Um, so W A. How many star dates? I don't know. Fifty. Everything's, <laughs> everything's still damaged. <laughs> We've got no weapons. Um, the star date was changing. So okay, where's the star date? Oh yeah, it's there. So I'm just like, how long? Do we wait? Uh, 
The starter is changing, but um, ah, do you have to? I wonder if this pro we've talked to the <laughs> W is not equal to red. RS then W. I don't know. It seems to say repair. To, it seems to say okay. That's doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Uh, no, that's just a warp setting. RSW. No, those are saying repair times are all good. <laughs> w for repair. That makes perfect sense. Um, hmm. So hang on, move automatically. Presumably we can't, still can't do that. We can't navigate automatically with damaged computer, Captain. No, agreed. I understand that, Mr. Chekhov. But how do we, how do we get the ship prepared? Oh, I wonder if this is a bug, because the repair status is showing that we don't actually have any problems. But clearly we are. Because I've busted, I've busted the phasers by overheating them. I know phasers. <laughs> There's definitely a typo there. I don't think we can fire the torpedoes. Can we fire the torpedoes manually? Can we still limp on with the game? Um, no, the torpedoes are manual. Let's do something silly and do, wait, wait for a thousand star dates. <laughs> It is moving, but nothing's being fixed. <laughs> right, R on its own. Nope. I don't know. I don't think the phasers will work now, will they? The phaser generator. So we can't. F <laughs> no, we can't fire. <laughs> and we can't fix anything. <laughs> we can't fire the torpedoes because we haven't got a computer. We can't fire the phasers because they're damaged because I overheated them. Um, condition green uh, D for dock. No, I think I just pressed dock, and I thought that was supposed to fix everything. Um, <laughs> we thought David Brayman invented the way to keep playing again. Let's wait. <laughs> so I can wait as long as I like, but <laughs> the um, the ship is not being fixed. Um, on the F1 screen it says repair. Yeah, so. It does say repairs can be made at bases. Um, repairs can be made, but <laughs> how? <laughs> um, <laughs> you move ship manually, we know this. Fire phases automatically. So this isn't right. Produces a list of damaged equipment on board, which is currently showing we don't have any damage. And the in-flight repair times at a starbase docked repair times. Use the W command to effect repair. W, yeah, the W command is the warp command. That doesn't make any sense. So there's something there's something missing here. <laughs> we don't know how to repair the ship. Um, well, capital W. Is that is that what is it that simple? No, see, that's the warp setting. I think there's <laughs> an undocumented command somewhere here telling us how to repair the ship. <laughs> it seems like a bug. How could this game be this old and still have a bug? <laughs> Type W in the repair screen. No, because it just says literally it just says hit any key to return to game i wonder if it's busted i think it i think it r is space w we're now guessing aren't we now it's just showing up as damaged um try, try every letter on the keyboard one time oh the old classics yeah right okay then let's try that q no w new warp setting one e r t y U I O B Fire control reports and the phasers won't fire. A S Spock reports <laughs> something very useful. Short range scan that one. D uh, F There's that that's 
That's <laughs> Lotus123. Um, G. No. H. J. K. L. M. N. B. B. C. X. Z. No, I can't figure it out. <laughs> Spock, the commander officer. I think it must be busted. I think I don't think I can complete. I'm going to quit and start again. We'll give it another try. Abandon. Yeah. Um. Ab abandon. Um. <laughs> we even got a beep. Oh, abandonship. You and your crew drift in space for weeks. Finally, you are rescued by an alligator on brothel boat. <laughs> Return to the Starfleet. After much deliberation, it's decided to let you have one ship, although you cannot be trusted with one of the good ones. So you're given command of the USS Quahog. <laughs> which, <laughs> which is still damaged. <laughs> so it's clearly, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a bug. Will it, will it let me quit? <laughs> Let me out the game. Quit! Yay! <laughs> Your score for this game is as follows. Seven Klingon kills. That's pretty good. Um, for abandoning the Enterprise. It's <laughs> 5,000. <laughs> for taking your sweet time on this mission. <laughs> Minus one million. <laughs> 136,951. <laughs> Giving me a total score of... Minus one million. <laughs> words, very precise. <laughs> the game didn't like my weight. 100,000 waiting for the repairs. <laughs> and that, my friends, is 70s gameplay. Would I like another game? <laughs> Absolutely. I like being punished. Um... Let's try that again. Ah, uh, dear. Classic trick. Right. Okay, so <laughs> everything's working. Let's leave. How about we leave the shields up? <laughs> this should be my. This should be my mantra for the week. Um, <laughs> whenever you go into the space combat, make sure your shields are up, Drew. <laughs> right. Long range scan. Uh, indicates there are no Klingons nearby, which is excellent. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to warp factor one. Otherwise, I think if you move at high speed, uh, you drain a lot of your energy. So let's try and save that. All right, so move automatically to five, five, eight, one, one. Right, there we go. There's some stars there. Let's do a long range scan. No sign of any Klingons yet. Um, is there an ast asterisk is a star? Yeah, asterisk. Uh, yeah. Asterisk is a star, P is a planet, K is a Klingon, and B is a star base. Um, so there we go. So move automatically. Let's go across to 8811. Shields are up. Okay, long range scan. Uh, still no sign of the Klingons. So move. I'm going to go around because you can scan in quadrants of, you know, nine. Um, then we should be able to figure out where everything is in the galaxy, I think. So let's move to 8511. Okay, orange scan. Still no sign of the Klingons. There were supposedly 18 out there. And move automatically to 8211. Nothing in this sector at all. Long range scan. Two Klingons are there. Uh, okay, so at least we know where they are. Move to five comma two one one. Move automatically to five two one one. Long range scan. Nothing of interest there. Where are the, they all kind of must be. How many red shirts do I have left? <laughs> it's a short war. Yeah, that's right. They're all in one space. <laughs> move to two to move automatically. Two two one one. Long range scan. Okay, <laughs> six Klingons over there in one quadrant. That's a bit mean, isn't it? Uh, 
It is kind of Klingon Minesweeper, but this is way before Minesweeper, of course. So um, you've got to put it in the right context. 2511. Long range again. Five Klingons there. Really? Move automatically to five comma five one one long range scan. Oop, got that wrong. Five five one one. Oh, hang on, it's, it needs a space, doesn't it? Long range scan. That gives us so. There's five Klingons there. Six Klingons up at the top left. Five Klingons in two six. Um, now I don't know if they move around these Klingons. M A. Two eight one one long range scan. Right, and there are no Klingons down there. So hang on, there's eighteen Klingons. Where are they? Six up there. Hang on, I'm gonna just put my mouse. There's six Klingons there. There are five Klingons there. So that's eleven. There are five Klingons there. So that's 16. Where are the other two? Uh, oh, there. In sector 9-3. Right, gone. Suddenly, you're <laughs> 6552. Thanks very much. <laughs> right, so shields are up. Okay, let's go get those. Let's get those two Klingons first. Okay, so here we go. Right, ready? Uh, move. Um, automatically, two. Nine comma three comma one comma one. Shields are up. <laughs> Emergency stop activated. Uh, hiding at the start one one. Okay, so we'll move back to nine one. Just get ourselves into that corner. Move automatically to nine three one one. All right, two Klingons in this quadrant. So short range scan, Mr. Spock. Okay, the Enterprise is there. There's a star there. Klingon. Estimated strength of 1,000 energy units, and there's some stars, right? So we want a torpedo one fired at three comma two. Are you ready for the firing of the torpedo? Boom! We got the Klingon. <laughs> so exciting, isn't it? <laughs> now I think. Uh, now I think. Um, is is the Twitch chat working? Yes, I think it is. I think we're good. Are we playing EGA Trek? Luckily, would you know this is this is much earlier. This is much earlier than EGA Trek. This is 1972-ish. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure. Did that just update automatically in real time? I think it did. So I've got to. I think I've got to move out of the way of that star first. There we go. So that's uh, torpedo one at eight comma one. Boom! Another another one. <laughs> Two Klingons down. Okay. So the problem being here that we've got loads of Klingons in in one space. Let's see how we do. Okay. So shield energy is ninety eight point five percent. So that assuming the shields are, stay up, and then uh, I hope we. <laughs> Where's the kaboom? Yeah, the the K disappearing. That's what you get. <laughs> that's 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 all you get in the nineteen seventy. Right, so let's go and see if we can tackle these five Klingons. Five, four, move automatically. It's all right. Five, four, one, one. Right, there are f loads of Klingons here. So let's deal with torpedo at. Now, I think I can do multiple shots here. So let's do four, seven, six, five. Let's try that to start with. No, that didn't work. Okay, condition. I've got one. So torpedo one. Oh, only fire one torpedo, maybe. Six, six, five. Got that one. Right, so let's move automatically to three, comma, four. Torpedo one at six, one. Yay! Torpedo one at six, two. It's very exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Just all I've got to do is type in the coordinates and they die. T T one seven one. So there we are. Tactical get. Yay! Chekhov reports. Enemy enemy Wessel. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> enemy Wessel at seven comma one just exploded, sir. <laughs> uh, <laughs> two types like a boss. They've all got one hit point, <laughs> so it's fairly easy to kill them. 
Um, but yeah, so we just took on five Klingons and only lost twenty percent. Uh, well, twelve percent of our shield. So that was that was pretty easy. Um, Uh, dear. Right, so um, let's go back to a star base. Or do we need to go back to a star base? We don't really, do we? We're, 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 a, bit o we're a bit OP, actually. Uh, which I suppose we started on beginner, we, didn't we? Yeah, so that makes sense. Maybe we'll play a game in a minute on a slightly higher level. Uh, move actually to automatically to 2655. Five. I should put it in the middle of the briar patch. There's all the Klingons, so torpedo one at three one. Boom, torpedo one at three six. Take that. Ah, I got a feeling that goes through the star, so I'm gonna move actually to four comma nine. There we go. Target one, target that torpedo and fire. Boom, there we go. T one three six. Bang. <laughs> T one six seven bang T one seven six missed apparently move automatically to seven nine there we go so you've got you've got to move around the stars it would seem yes you can't fire through the stars it doesn't give you a warning um, it just, right, I've got I've got six torpedoes and six Klingons left. So can I do this without going to a starbase? Uh, shields are now down to sixty-two percent. I think we'll be good. So move automatically to one, two, five, five. Oh, collided with a star. Move actually to one, one. Okay, move actually to one comma two comma one, uh, five comma five right i should put this right in the middle of the klingons and it's there's no stars <laughs> so this is going to be easy t1 four comma three bang t1 two comma five bang t1 three comma seven bang t1 two comma seven bang t1 comma two bang <laughs> T, uh, T1, 8, 1. Da, 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 da. Oh, there we go. Oh, I missed. Ah, now I've, <laughs> now I've... What happened there? My torpedo didn't work. Phasers. Phasers automatic. Ah, what happened there? Nope. Oh. <laughs> I think I just killed it. Right, your score for this game is as follows. Eight Klingon kills. 1,800 points. Well done, Drew Wager, for taking your sweet time on this mission. Minus 9,502.588. Why, why is it calculating my score to, to three decimal places? <laughs> Therefore, your total score is minus... 7,702.588. Okay, so uh, I, have, I did have it on beginner level. So, um, um, so obviously I need to move around faster. <laughs> but that's an improvement. Okay, so my first game, I got minus a million. How many minus seven thousand? So, that, to be honest, that's pretty darn good, isn't it? <laughs> right. Okay. So um, that was easy. So it's obviously a bit too easy. Let's um, <laughs> let's play another game. Well, yes. <laughs> I think it's busted. Well, let me restart it. Ah, uh, dear. Right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's it gone? Games. Uh, should we go for it? I don't think I'm an emeritus player, but I'm probably intermediate by now. Is this a color monitor? Yes, it is. Classic trick. Right. Okay, so I've got some extra challenges now. 
We either search out and destroy all Klingons that you encounter. That's the same. Intelligent reports, all right, um, that the Romulans are helping the Klingons and have implemented a breakthrough in cloaking technology. <laughs> Inter <laughs> reports are that even with all short-range sensors trained on them, Romulan ships with a new cloaking device, they will stay invisible if they have enough power. Um, intelligence reports two sightings of Doomsday machines recently. <laughs> really? I don't remember this. They are quite dangerous. Really? <laughs> Doomsday machines. Um, intelligence also reports the interception of Klingon communications, which may indicate as many as five Klingon commander ships, and at least one of the Klingon's Emperor's super commander ships may be operational. <laughs> this isn't going to go well, is it? <laughs> okay, so we've got cloaked Romulan vessels, we've got Doomsday machines, and 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 two sets of super. We've got Emperor super commanders and super commander spaceships. I think this is going to go badly. Oh, there's Klingons here already. <laughs> Quick. Well, we know one, um, six, one, boom, got that one. T, we're at point blank range, so I suppose that's good. Got that one as well. T, one, eight, four. There we are, it's fast. Oh, there's not, there was no one's just moved in. T, one, two, two. Right, there we go. Phew, okay. <laughs> they have never, so which difficulty was this? This was intermediate. It's quite a step up for a beginner, to be fair, where we just had eight Klingons who sat there and took it. There's no intermediate. It's chucked doomsday cloaking ships and all sorts of stuff at us. Um. <laughs> ah, dear. Right, and they hit our shields quite hard. Look, our shields are already down to 89.1%. And Sharon's here. Hello, Sharon. We're enjoying, we're enjoying, we're enjoying um, <laughs> text Star Trek. In my, what is probably going to be a very, very rough and not very accurate history of space games from, from days of yore until now. Um, Klingons left 75 Klingons? Really? 75? <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so we need to up the, oh, so warp is currently set to warp 7, so let's, let's leave it there because that allows us to move. Um, where's Doomsday Machines? Yeah, so, what, I mean, also more than one Doomsday Machine. I mean, they, Captain Kirk had the entire episode and the spare starship to deal with one Doomsday Machine. I've only got one starship, but I've got to deal with two whilst being under attack by the Klingons and the Romulans. Doesn't seem very fair, does it? I was going to say, so in the beginner version of the game, we get 18 Klingons, um, and that's it. And, and the Klingons are pretty weak. In the intermediate version of the game... 75 Klingon and a whole bunch of other stuff which is trying to kill us so that's <laughs> it's a bit of a ramp up isn't it um, all right so let's move let's 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 do our um, normal kind of thing all right so some Klingons here as well so let's get rid of them with the torpedoes five three there's still one shot though the, the Klingons which is good at least with the torpedoes so um, but they are whacking our shields down. Shields are now down to 66. Is this Drew's Kobayashi Maru? I think it is. Grim Grimson Brazard tactics. Right, long range scan. Okay, there were no immediate Klingons here. Uh, good. Okay, so move automatically to 2555. Five, five. Okay, no Klingons here. Long range scan, nothing there either. Oh no, there's six Klingons to the right. Six Klingons. Right, so that's going to be a bit mean. We could probably just about do this, maybe then go to the star base. What do you reckon? Let's try that. Move actually to three, five, five, five. Oh, no, there's a star in the way. <laughs> Two, eight, five. Oh, no, we can't go through this. We can't move diagonally when there's a star nearby. Yeah, there's six. I need to do that. Right, so let's move to move actually to seven, four. There we go, right, move automatically to three, five, five, five. Right, shields are up. Six Klingons in this quadrant. Right, let's bring out the torpedoes. One, four, three, down one. Shields down to 54%. Actually, it's actually a bit more dense now because 40, 43% on the shield. What's R? Is that a Romulan? Let's get rid of the Klingons first. Three, five. Keep an eye on the shields for me. Shields are down to 32%. Six. 
<laughs> Shield's down to 24%. Uh, am I going to get them all before the shields collapse? That didn't work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bug out of here because um, I need my shields back up. Let's go back to the star base. Three, three, I have five. Oh, the star, <laughs> star base has got Klingons in it. <laughs> no! I'm going to have to free the Klingons from the star base, aren't I, first? Right, that's that one. T1, eight, six. Got that one. Right, let's move automatically to five, four, fire torpedo at three, four. Yes! <laughs> Shields down. Shields down to 11%. Right, okay, so five, five. Let's dock. There we go. Everything's back up to full strength. Right, let's go and get those other dudes. Let's just do a long range scan while we There's eight over there. That's just wrong. Um. Okay, so should we undock? Yep. Move automatically to on the fifth day of doomsday. My true love gave to me. I hope I leave the grizzle. <laughs> right. Uh, move automatically to. Right. I want to go to five. No, three comma five comma five comma five. That worked. Okay. Let's get these last two Klingons. And look, there's there's interesting enough here that there's some dots. I don't know if you can see that. There's some spaces here where there's blankness going on. I wonder if that's the cloaked Romulan ship. Two, five. Got him. Phaser hit from a Romulan. Yeah, T, one, eight, two. Okay. So according to that, yeah, there's two, there's two holes. So let's do, let's chuck some torpedoes at them, see if they like it. Four, two. Phaser hit from Romulan at sector 5-1. Five, 5-1. One. Five, one. Yeah, got him. T-1-5-1. One, one. I think I killed him. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure why there's a... Anyway, the shields are held in. Right, so let's move automatically to 3-4. There's one thing on there which we can deal with. Easily enough. T one six three. Gotcha. There's a Romulan at eight comma seven. So T one eight comma seven. So if basically if you react straight away, oh he's moved. That's tricky. I'm gonna bug out. Let's go over oh star in the way. Oh, move. To one comma three, yeah. Move automatically to two comma two comma five comma five. <sighs> Long way again. Right there we go. So there are seven Klingons up there. Our shields are already down to sixty percent. They take, <laughs> they take a lot of stuff on this level of the game. Can I get seven Klingons with sixty percent shields? Let's give it a whirl. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, three comma one comma five comma five. Right. Torpedoes, one. Let's get the closest one first. Five, six. Boom. 45% shields. One from four, four. T, one from. I didn't get him. Four, four. That Klingon took more than one hit. Five, comma, two. T, one. Four, comma, two. Yes. T, one, three, comma, one. T, one, one, comma, three. Yes. Oh no, the computer's damaged and the shields are down. <laughs> no, don't damage the shields because it might bug the game. And it has. <laughs> we had this before. <laughs> so when the shields go down, the computer gets damaged. The phasers are still working. We will now will have lost the torpedoes, I think. Um, so we're going to... We'll try and limp back to the star base. I've got a feeling the repair part of the game actually has some bugs in it. <laughs> Just quite surprising for a game that's been this old. Maybe they've ever played it this far. <laughs> Who knows?
issues. Right, so I can't move actually. I think with the computer damaged, that won't work, will it? We cannot navigate automatically with a damaged computer. And there's a phaser. Ah, something's still firing at us. Um, so I've got to move manually. What was it? I had to do relative vectors, so wasn't it? Two, two. Five, five, is that right? Nope, that was wrong. <laughs> um, can anyone, anyone remember how to navigate manually before I get shot to pieces? What was it? Manu move manually. I thought it was, oh, it was minus two, wasn't it? Um, so I want to actually go minus three, minus one. No, that didn't work either. Phaser hit from Klingon Super Commander. <laughs> well, <laughs> fire the phasers back. <laughs> phasers. We cannot fa fire the phasers on automatic. Yeah, I knew that. We need to fire the phasers on manual. Units to fire at Super Commander. I don't know how many units could we fire. Because I think I, I think I melted the phasers last time. 100. There we are. Okay, well, he managed to fire at me with... 276 unit fire from Klingon Super. I think, I think <laughs> this might be the end, my friends. Can obtain cloaking device. Let's turn the cloaking device on. Does that help us be still shooting at us? Phasers manual. It's still hitting us. Computer damaged. <laughs> oh, now the cloak's down. What the cloak was up? Phaser's manual. Five hundred. I'm hitting it. How about a short range gun? What does Mr. Spock say? Klingon Super Commander with estimated strength of two thousand eight hundred and forty-two energy units. Oh, there's a black hole. That's what that is. At two comma seven. So when when there's a dot, when there's a dot. Uh, that's a black hole, apparently. Um, okay, let's see if I can get back to the star base. Move actually minus mm, minus two minus two minus one five five. Did that? I can't navigate automatically. I know what manual moves it. Minus two minus one five five. Well, that got us out of that space. Move. Manually minus it's minus one zero five five. There, mm, nope. <laughs> Move manually. I want to go. Sure, that's minus one minus one. There we go. Right. Move manually. Three three. Nope. That's not. <laughs> Lack of a dot. Move manually minus three minus three. Now I'm move manually minus zero minus five. Enterprise collides with. St <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, automatic without the automatic without the computer. <laughs> there's no automatic stop. Okay, so your claw <laughs> score on this game is as well as 23 Klingon kills, 2,300. 2, One Robilin kills. Yeah, we got a Robilin. <laughs> Taking your sweet time on this mission, minus 106.0059. Very precise that. Uh, total score. Hey, I've got a positive score. <laughs> 2,000. 2,693.994. It's the 0.994 that absurdly pleases me. Um, <laughs> total score, 2,609.3.994. I'm getting better. I'm definitely getting better. Right. I, th I think one more one more time. <laughs> Let's try it on Emeritus <laughs> because gluttons for punishment. Let's see. <laughs> let's see how bad it is. Because intermediate was pretty darn impossible, I suspect. Right, let's go for Emeritus player. 
Um, that's, that's, that's an interesting word, actually, isn't it? That, does, that also dates the game. So beginner, intermediate or emeritus. Now, in the, in, 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 by the 80s, such words as emeritus had, had long gone. OK, so we'd have easy, normal and hard. <laughs> or easy, medium and hard difficulty. Whereas back in the 70s, no, 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 beginner, intermediate or emeritus. <laughs> so E for, for hard in this case. Um, is this a color monster? Yes, it is. Is it classic trick? Let's stick with classic trick. Uh, we'll have a look at next generation to find out what that is actually is. Okay, so uh, your mission is most distasteful you to search and destroy all Klingons. Right, intelligence reports, Romulans are helping the Klingons, okay. So that's the same, but there's no sign of the... Sounds easier then. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> 105 Klingons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a bit me. <laughs> You've got two star bases to start this game, sir. Oh, hang on, it's all happening in real time. They're moving. Ah. Oh, that's, that's... That's, 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 that's not good. They actually, did you see that actually move? A, they, <laughs> A, they destroyed my star base immediately. <laughs> and B, they moved. At least I think they moved. Um. <laughs> 1970s game made by people who grew up with 1940s literature. <laughs> um, did they move there? Is the game sort of doing some sort of slightly real timey stuff? Let's let's find out. I mean, uh, three comma five. Let's, let's take the fight back to the Klingons. Right. T one seven four five. Gotcha. T five comma seven. Got ya. T one three three. You weren't expecting that, were you, Klingons? Look how fast I am on the keyboard. Um. All right, shields are seventy six percent. We're still good. Move actually to one comma six comma five comma five. Shields up. T one four four. T one three four. T one five four. T one six one. T one six one. Get that one again. T one seven six. T one. Six. Got them. Yes, like a boss. Um. <laughs> Wolf Sweat Paws Twitch. I played this in Digital Equipment Corporation BDB11. <laughs> yeah, so we'll actually be doing next week, um, Wolf, Wolf Sweat Paws. We're going to actually um, play um, Space War, which of course is the PDP game, the PDB11 game. Um, so, um, yeah, so watch out for that. <laughs> but I can't play it this week because my. Um, my shields, are, my shields are very low, aren't they? Now, can I transfer power to the shields? I think I can, can't I? I just don't know how to do it. So let's go to the space station. Move actually, we're warp seven, seven comma four, five, five. Okay, there's no Klingons here, so that's good. Uh, let's dock. All right, shields are back up. Uh, let's undock. Let's go. Long range scan. Any shield Klingons around here? There's seven Klingons just next door. So let's go and get them. Eight comma five five five. Ugh. There is a star in the way. Move automatically to nine five. Move automatically to eight five five five. All right, Klingons ahoy. All right, tar target the Klingons for four. T one eight four T I'm gonna to have to move one three two oh two three T one two two I'm gonna to have to move to get these other guys over here. Move automatically. How are the shields doing? Seventy seven percent. Uh eight eight five hey move automatically eight come on eight five yeah Torpedo one at seven one. Torpedo one at seven two. It's getting quite intense, actually. <laughs> May not be the most exciting game for you guys to watch, but it it is. <laughs> I've kind of got into it now. <laughs> I want to win. <laughs> uh, uh, 
four, four. Right. Torpedoes away. One at cover six. Yay! Enemy Wessel at 1.6 just exploded, sir. Right, the shields are still at 74%. I was pretty good there. Um, yeah, if I say so myself. Uh, right. Uh, oh, we're about to climb with the black hole. Oh, yes, you've got to be careful of the black holes. Um, uh, what's the matter? In that case, let's move north a bit to 8455. There we go. Then let's move across automatically to 6355. Five. Right. And the shield is a Romulan. Let's take the Romulan out first. Bomb. Yeah. T1. 1, 2. T1. 8, 6. T1. <laughs> 8, 7. Uh, move automatically to 8, 5. Fire torpedoes at 8, 1. Yay! <laughs> it's surprisingly exciting once you get into it. I mean, the EGO tracker kind of felt like a wonder of a starship. It was a lot of fun. Um, um, are you getting ideas for space combat in Higara from this game? Yes. <laughs> Just typing numbers into a UI. Uh, <laughs> next time on True Stream, we'd like to be eaten by... Who knows what will happen next? Right, how are we doing? 61% shields. I reckon we can take those Klingons in 8-3 out before the shields drop. Then we'll go back to the base. Eight, three, five, five. Right. Can't we'll get the Klingons on fire. T one four three. T one six six. T one. T two five. One one two. Just does remind me of being back in the seventies and eighties, though. It really does. Right. There we go. Twenty six percent shields. Let's go back to the star base. Uh, our only star base. <laughs> get a. Um, get a shield recharge. Okay, the star base. The star base moves around. Actually, everything moves around. So, I wonder if the game is a little bit more interactive now um, than it was in the previous one. So, we need to move to th four, three, and dock. There we go. And that just fixes everything. Okay, long range scan doesn't change anything. So, that's okay. Um, I suppose we now need to be a bit cautious. So if we move actually to seven five, let's move around slowly. And oh, there's a Romulan. Ah, Romulans. Um, two one three seven. Boom. Okay, we got the Romulan. Didn't get a shot on us either, which is nice. Move actually to four six. Okay, so I quite like that there are some navigation hazards in the game. The black holes are missing dots, which are. A little bit tricky to see actually, um, so that's quite nice. Let's do a long range scan for me. Right, there are eight Klingons, odd enough, on our starboard bow <laughs> if we're going south, <laughs> and four Klingons um, directly below us. So let's, and there are six stars in the eight Klingon quadrant, so that's going to make navigation tricky. Um, okay, let's try, let's go get them. So six, six, five, five. There are a load of Klingons, right? T one four four. T one six five. T one three six. T one three seven. T one one six. One ah one six. No, no, T. T. Ah, what's going on? T one one six. Uh T one one three. Not sure if I can get that one from there. Move actually to two five. T one one two. Shield still holding. T one eight one. Oh. <laughs> always going forward. Yes, I should. Have. Um, I, I, I've always shied away from. I don't know. Who <laughs> report star feet star feet <laughs> star feet <laughs> star feet report star base 13 and quadrant 74 has been destroyed ah by what there's nothing in quadrant yeah i'm just going to go back to that quadrant so <laughs> did the game just randomly destroy my base 
Oh. Seven four five five. So there's there's <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing in <laughs> there's nothing in the quadrant. Something randomly destroyed the star base. Maybe a cloaked Romulan. Um. <laughs> star feet. Yes. A slightly smellier guy. He is dead, Jim. Yeah. Actually, we haven't been doing all the Star Trek buns while we've been playing. Come on, what's the matter with you all? Um. Right, so we're now in serious trouble. There's 60, 69 Klingons left. <laughs> and we have 11 torpedoes and 60% shields. I don't think this is going to go well, is it? <laughs> well, we'll just have to go down the way we've been. I'll just blame Q. Uh, right. Well, 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 we'll do the best we can. As long as we beat... Seven, what's our best score at the moment? Was it 2,000 or 7,000? I can't remember now. Um, the doctor, not a base disappearance. <laughs> yes, that was a bit mean. Um, anyway, there's Klingons. There's eight, eight Klingons. Spock reports. Right. Um, right, so shield energy is now down to... 62%. All right, let's go and get those Klingons uh, at 5, 9. Okay, move active to right. Here we go 6, 7, 5, 5. We're in the middle of eight Klingons. T1. Let's get them 5, 6, T1, 5, 7, T1, 3, 6, T. Oh, I've got to be careful of that star. I don't know if I can fire from there. Um, let's go Q, no, move, move automatic to three, seven. No, move automatic, three, seven. There we go, torpedo one at four, four. Torpedo one at four, three. Torpedo one at four, one. Torpedo one at two, one. Got one more click on to go. Move actually to seven seven with a clear shot. T one at six two. Bosh! Got them. Um try T two. Ah, oh, okay, so yes, I could I could maybe try try that in a minute. The the multiple typing. So I can fire three torpedoes at a time, I think. Um, um yes, Trelane, Buffo nineteen sixty six. Yes, Trelane, that's a good one. Is whether Trelane was the cue. Uh, Trelane was a mischievous uh, character in the original Star Trek, wasn't he? And um, um, very like Q in behaviour, but never called himself Q. Um, so was he? Was he a Q? Um, interesting. Um, right. So <laughs> shields are down to seventeen percent. Now is there a way of getting more shield power? I think. I think there is. Just trying to get. Shield energy, there it is. Right, shield energy. How much do we change the shield energy? Let's put another. How much energy have I got? Three thousand five hundred into the shields. All right, so I've put the shields back up to fifty-two percent, but that obviously diverts my total energy, drains the engines. Okay. Right, we've got three torpedoes left. Right, that allows us to take out those ones there. Move automatically to seven, six, five, five. Four Klingons in this quadrant. Torpedo one at five four. Oh, let's just throw this. So torpedo three, five, four, three, five, and one one. Fire three torpedoes. Ready? <laughs> My last three torpedoes were fired simultaneously. Boom. Right, phasers. Automatic fire. It sorted out, boom. Right, okay, so we're still alive. All right, our shields are up. We don't have very much energy left though. And we don't have much shields left. But other than that, everything's going well. Uh, okay, 57 shield Klingons left. Um, so where should we go? Let's move automatically to 7855. Oh, there's a there's a Klingon super ship 
phases automatic. Klingon Super Commander hit with 350 3 units, phases automatic again. Oh, he's really strong. What strength is he? Short range scan. Estimated strength of 1939. Phases automatic. <laughs> okay, he's still whacking us, but we're slowly getting him. Uh oh. Yay, we got him. Uh, 429 units required. So we are now, shields are down to 31%. Um, our energy is, I don't think we need the cloak. Why is the cloaking device on? 20, 20, 2,180 energy. I need to resupply. Yeah, I can't resupply now because all my star bases have been destroyed. <laughs> the sneaky Klingon sneaked in when I wasn't looking and destroyed the star base. So I, th I suspect this isn't going to end well now. Um, long range scan. <laughs> there is seven, seven Klingons next door. <laughs> How many frames am I getting in this game? Well, I don't know. What's a, what, what is a, <laughs> what is the screen refresh of a text-based game? I don't know. <laughs> a pla Oh, a planet. Now that's a good point because there is a transporter, isn't there? We haven't explored that. Is there a way I can fix my ship up? One one FPS, one frame per second. I think it's it's one frame every time I type the enter key. I think that's how it works. The game's not responding. Come on. Right. Um, transporter. How do I find a planet, though? Um, the basic gameplay of this one carried over to 8-bit Star Raiders. Yeah, it did. Yeah, so... Uh, how do I find a planet? I haven't seen a planet. But you're right, I think. I can't get the help to activate. Press F1 for help. Isn't now. <laughs> I think I think the help computer's been damaged again. <laughs> um, as characters are flashing, I suppose yeah, two <laughs> two frames per second. Yeah, I suppose there there you go, two frames per second. Off on off on off on off on. Um, yeah, the help computer's not working. Um, but if we could find a planet. Maybe we could maybe we could fix the ship. Let's let's try that. Eight eight five five. Long range scan. So there's stars here but no planets. I'm not sure do planets show up. Oh hello. <laughs> USS Enterprise pulled into quadrant seven eight by a long range tractor beam. <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing in here. What? What was that about? I haven't seen that. Transporter, what does that, I think it allows you to beam down to the planet and get some supplies. Uh, which, which is which is a new thing over the original game. I've just, and, oh, there's a planet, and I've just run out of energy. <laughs> Stop putting me back. Now I've got no energy left. There was a planet there, we were so close. <laughs> now what? Move, actually, can I move? I don't know if I can move. Eight, seven, five, five. We need a... <laughs> Scotty says, but Captain, we need a wee bit more energy to do that. <laughs> can I... <laughs> can I, um... Can I do a negative shield transfer to get some power back into the engines? There's, there's no engine. I can't, <laughs> can't transfer it back from the shields. <laughs> I put too much energy into the shields and now we can't move. Um, <laughs> how though? Because it just says no energy. Can I do minus 1000? No. Shields off. Shields down? Does that? I can't. I can't do anything. <laughs> shields are up. I can't switch the shields off. <laughs> I can't move. So warp one. Hey, but Spock report. Yeah, okay, warp. Warp setting one, right? Yep, shields. No energy. 
I know that. Shield energy minus 1,000. Oh, it worked. Well done. Whoever did that. That worked. That was good. Right. 1,000 units drained from shield. Now we can limp, hopefully, to quadrant 8. <laughs> 8755. There we go. There's the planet. Right, move actually to, before we get tractor beamed in, 25. Right, no. Actually, what happened? Oh, we got, we got tractor beamed. In. Stop tractor beaming my ship! <laughs> Planet's in a different place every time you move. 7 1. Stop tractor beaming my ship! Every time I move, it's. This tractor me with my ship. Right. Move actually to three three. <laughs> I I feel the game is cheating now. Why does it want me in this quadrant? Maybe I maybe I need to move away from that quadrant. Let's go to quadrant nine seven. There we go. And it <laughs> sucks me back into quadrant seven eight. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing's firing at me. Right, I, 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 <laughs> I want to go to the planet. Please. Move actually to eight seven five five. Right, so then I want to. This is where I want to be. <laughs> USS Enterprise pulled into quadrant seven eight by a long range tractor beam. What? What's with the long range tractor beam? That's just. The okay. game. So this is this is the problem with old school gameplay. Is it's just right. Magic wand. <laughs> wait one. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Let's just wait at one. Nothing. Nothing happened. Move action. I want to go to eight seven. I want to be here. And it just moves you back. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do. A long range tractor beam pulls me back. What happens? Maybe I can cloak. Let's try that. Okay. So that's used even more power. Let's let's move further away. Maybe eight. Surely it can't get us up there. Let's go up there. All right. So we're now we're miles away. Okay. I'm just going to move actually to four or five. No, <laughs> which tractor just sucks us back into this quadrant <laughs> for no obvious reason. I think. I think. <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing in this sector of you know which it's. I don't know. It's some sort of. <laughs> just I don't know. I don't know what. What's the gameplay value of this? <laughs> I think we're going to have to go down the blaze of glory, aren't we? I think that's that's the only honourable thing. The captain's going to have to go down with the ship. Um, there are single, seven Klingons left, and we've got no torpedoes. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divert what remains of the energy into the... Actually, no, I need the energy to fire the weapon. So what's going to be best? Go in with shields up and run out of energy to fire the phasers. I've to get a seal play. <laughs> Target system is permit locked. That's exactly what's happening. So I would have gone to the planet, but we can't... <laughs> Somebody, somebody, somebody somewhere has got a long range tractor beam in the game. <laughs> Try this, Drew. <laughs> Every time I move, it's like, nah. <laughs> so that's not going to work. Right, we've got 55 Klingons. So can we take out these last seven Klingons with what's left of our energy? I don't think we can. Um, but let's try. We've got 21% shields, seven Klingons to go. This, this this is the Kobayashi Maru moment, I feel. <laughs> I don't think we're going to make it out of this one. Um, but anyway, let's give it a whirl. Right, here we go. Six, eight, 
Unless unless anybody's Lucky Luigi defeatist, okay. I prefer to call this realism Lucky Luigi. I mean there's we got we got virtually no energy, no shields, no torpedoes, and seven enemies. But let's be optimistic, right? Who thinks you'll get tracked? Oh yeah, yeah, maybe I'll get tracked out of the fight. Let's find out. Here we go. There are seven Klingons in this quadrant. Right. Phases to automatic. And they're all still there. Right, we've got <laughs> nine percent <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got tracked it out. <laughs> I can't even attack anybody now. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to kill the Klingons. <laughs> There's definitely something strange going on here. There's a Klink Romulan. What do I do? Maybe I should just wait. A cloak ship in the system, but. It's not firing on me. I don't know. Two? <laughs> what am I supposed to do about this? I can't fire at it. It's, it's just a Romulan ship that's just joshing with me, basically, isn't it? <laughs> it's a cloaked ship in the system which is not opening fire. It's being very passive aggressive. <sighs> right, so. I, I feel I feel the end game is approaching. Three, three dot two is <laughs> three two is missing a dot. Yeah, so that's that is the that's a black hole. He doesn't need to fire any. He's just having too much fun tracking me as I try and repair my ship. Um, let's let's try one more time. All right, turn the cloak off. Let's turn the shield down. Maybe that will entice him out to firing at us. Let's try one more time to get to the planet. 8755. So there's a planet here that I'd like, I'd really like to go to. Um, <laughs> it's just, just not letting me do it. 8755. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do, the moment I type something, the guy tractors me back. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I do. Although I'm here. Um, I've made it. Um, uh, uh, transporter. TR. <laughs> we got to the planet and... Guess what? There is nothing here. <laughs> but the inhabitants are quite friendly. They seem to be interested in my undergarments. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to watch that off the screen because I didn't quite see what the entire text said. It went off the screen so fast. And then the Romulan <laughs> activated the tractor beam again. Um, but it's, it turns out that planet is of no use to us at all. <laughs> is that what it did? Did it say? Did it actually say um, nude humanoid females? Did, I, did it actually say that? I didn't see the text before it went off the screen. <laughs> Somebody has watched too many episodes of Star Trek. Um, so this this long range tractor beam. <laughs> did it say? <laughs> YouTube would like to be with larger memory. It's like definitely a classic retro game. Oh dear, how very how very seventies. <laughs> Copious quantities. <laughs> Right, it's, it's, it's time to let the Klingons put us out of our misery, I feel. Um, right, let's go in. Uh, shields up first, what's left of them. Shields up. Move, actually. Let's see the Romulans get us out of this. Six, eight, five, five. Oh, abandoning the land... <laughs> abandoning the landing party is a capital offence. Regret messing with Sharon. <laughs> Abandoning the land. <laughs> what 
it's my fault I got tractor beamed across the space. <laughs> was it? Uh, I can't do anything about the landing party now. <laughs> Does that mean I'm dead? Um, <laughs> it wasn't my, <laughs> wasn't my fault. We got tractored out of orbit by the by the Romulans. Um, no, we're still we're still we're still moving, moving actually to six comma eight comma five. Okay. <laughs> This is definitely a bug, and it's it, it kept kept the end. And it's okay. Is because the game presumably still thinks I'm in orbit around the planet, so it's not going to let me um, leave um, until I presumably I beam up the landing party. But I bet you I can't beam up the landing party because I'm no longer in orbit around the planet. Uh, and because of the long range tractor beam thing, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get back to the planet. <laughs> so I may be in a sort of loop of hell now. <laughs> Abandoning the landing party is a capital offence, Captain, says Sulu. Says right, well, um, transporter then. We're not. <laughs> well, I know that. <laughs> okay, so we've actually ate some of those. Let's see if the Romulans will let us go back to the planet. I can't move at all. <laughs> so the game is now. No, 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 you can't move. <laughs> so this is kind of the opposite of loitering, isn't it? There's a ah, you got pulled out of orbit by a Romulan cloaking device. Well, you you have to die, Captain. Why? Well, why? Well, you abandoned your landing party. But I didn't mean to abandon them. <laughs> It's where you were pulled out of orbit. Yes. By Romulan Clinton device. Yes, 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 yes. Well, you abandoned them then. No, 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 I didn't. <laughs> it's the Romulan's fault. Which Romulans are you talking about? Well, the ones with the invisible cloaking device. <laughs> the the Romulans with the invisible cloaking device. How convenient, Captain. <laughs> I, I, I feel the end of this game is drawing near. We... <laughs> I don't think there's anything we can do because it's not going <laughs> to, it won't let me move to the planet <laughs> because it's a capital events. Um, I can't, I can't even go out in the blaze of glory now because I can't even die an honourable death. <laughs> Fire the phasers randomly as if they hit something. Let's try that. Phasers. Manual. There are four... Th one. Yep. That's all the power. Yep. But there's, there's, <laughs> there's nothing to fire at. Move to 5-2. Nope. I, <laughs> I am not allowed to move, Mr. Sulu. Load the torpedo with Sulu and fire at will. <laughs> Interesting enough, wasn't it Spock who went down to the planet? Was it was it Spock who went down to the planet? It was. Somebody tell me in the chat. Was it Spock? Was it Spock who went down to the planet? <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for the chat to catch up because I want to check something here. Um, was it was it was was it Spock who went down to the planet? <laughs> <laughs> Computer initiate self destruct authorization way. I think to one episode. Yeah, I think we need something like that in a minute. Was it Spock who went down to the planet? Somebody must have spotted. Somebody must have been reading the text. JR nineteen eighty eight doesn't recall. I think it. Yeah, <laughs> ask Spock. Yeah, I think it was the one. The one I abandoned. Yeah, that, that planet. <laughs> I think it was. So in that case, when I do short range scan, this there's another Spock on the ship. <laughs> Who's this Spock? <laughs> so there's more than one Spock. Traditionally, they send the three most important crew members to a planet plus the three least important. Yeah, there's a clone of Spock. They were <laughs> Spock. So Spock is now abandoned on a planet of the of, of the of the nude of nude ladies. Um, Transporter malfunction from Spock must die. Yes, there's two Spocks. Um, 
So poor old Spock is marooned on the planet of the, of the uh, well-endowed ladies. Um, we are stuck, unable to move because Sulu um, <laughs> has taken leave of his senses. And there's uh, a Romulan somewhere about. <laughs> Doesn't want to kill us, just wants to make our life a misery. <laughs> I feel Spock has come off best of all in this, in this endeavour, personally. <laughs> And I have 55 Klingons left, well, which I can do nothing about because of the way the game works. <laughs> so I feel there's only one honourable thing to do now, my friends. <laughs> and that is, is there a self-destruct? Cloak, dock, long range scan, move, phases, quit. Repair status, short range scan, shield energy, shield, torpedoes, transbo transport of warp weight. Uh, worksheet, no. So we're going to have to... <laughs> We're gonna to have to. Well, maybe we can abandon ship. Shall we? Shall we do that? Let's abandon. Maybe we can abandon ship and keep going for a moment. Abandon. There we go. Abandon ship. All hands abandon ship. You and your crew drift in lifeboats for months, starving to death. <laughs> While the Klingons win the war. <laughs> ah. Oh no. <laughs> the score is. I was doing all right until I. Abandoned the Enterprise. Sulu, that, Sulu did let me abandon ship, fortunately. There we go. Uh, <laughs> not sure if we're playing a game or coding, says 8 10, 100, Sonny Smith. <laughs> right, so my, my score for this game as was 49 Klingon kills. I mean, come on, that's not bad. That's not bad. One super commander kill. We've got one super baddie ship. Two Romulans. Um, abandoning the Enterprise, <laughs> minus 5,000. And taking your sweet time on this mission, minus 12,605.99. Total score, minus 10,735.99. Would you like to play another game? No. I think I have had enough of, of Star Trek the text game from the 1970s. Uh, <laughs> so, there... There we have it. <laughs> um, that that that's what gameplay was like in the seventies, my friends. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this trip down memory lane, and you are now very much appreciative of how good games are today. <laughs> um, that 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 um, that past is fun. <laughs> back back then. <laughs> So we, we will progress forwards. Okay, good old days and bad days. I must admit, I do remember quite enjoying that game back in the day, but obviously yeah, things have moved on <laughs> quite a lot, haven't they? Um, so um, I, I, think we're, I think we'll play some slightly more interactive games next time. Uh, <laughs> to think people looked at that and said, more, please. Um, but the buggy games... <laughs> Be gone. Yeah, actually, I mean, we found some bugs in a game that's from the 70s. It's just, there must be less buggy than most. Yeah, actually, um, Buffer 1966, I thought it would be relatively easy to find a the Star Trek text game. Um, when I went searching for it in a week, thinking, oh, you know, I, <laughs> and stupidly I left it towards the end of the week, thinking it would be easy. When I went on the internet to try and find a version of this game, it was surprisingly difficult to find one. Um, loads and loads of websites talking about it. Loads of people reminiscing about how it was coded and who wrote it and all the different version versions. But actually finding a version that was accessible and playable was surprisingly hard, um, which presumably just shows how much time has gone past. <laughs> um, that was pretty punishing, wasn't it? Original Dark Souls game, so yes. So this, that's a that's brutal gameplay from the 1970s for you, but there we go. Right, my friends, so anyway. <laughs> That, that begins our tour of space games that we have once played. Um, so uh, this one was last updated in 1991 according to the loading text. Yeah, so it's a 70s game, last updated in 91. Um, and the only little thing in the in the readme file is um, um, basically saying it was recompiled to run on 32-bit operating systems so you can run it on Windows 7 up to 10. Uh, but anyway, so <laughs> space games we have played. Next week I'm hoping to have uh, Space War from the PDP-11. Um, and, but I need I need a co-pilot for that because it's a two-player game. So we'll start off with that, and we'll go through a few arcade games. And I might I might see if my youngest son is up for for a challenge on that one. Let's see how it goes. And um, 
see if we can do some um, old school old school twitch gaming versus versus the youngsters and see how it goes <laughs> that could be good fun but anyway you have a fantastic weekend my friends be good um i will see you next week for some more retro space game shenanigans and hopefully <laughs> um yeah hopefully it'll be even more exciting than this one so live long and prosper <laughs> and uh you know, have a thought for spock have a thought for spock poor old chap doesn't know what to do with himself <laughs> take care my friends see you next week <laughs>